Hey guys, what's going on? Zach here from Luno, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through tips and tricks on how to car camp comfortably in the winter. Let's get right into it. First things first, the problem with camping in the winter is the conditions are always gonna be less than ideal. But here's the thing, it doesn't have to be that hard. Tip number one, make sure you stay warm and comfortable. Great way to stay warm and comfortable while camping is to camp in your car. You wanna make sure that you have at least one layer of insulation between yourself and the mattress. What will happen is you're gonna inflate it with air and that air is gonna be cold. So I always like to just throw a quick blanket on to go in between me and the mattress. And then of course I have a really thick sleeping bag. This one right here is actually rated to be negative 20. Um, so it's a bit overkill for most conditions, but hey, I'd rather be warm than cold. So I really enjoy that setup. If you're like me and you like having your trunk open all the time because one, it offers a little bit of protection from the elements, but two, this is just where everything's happening. But one thing that happens when you leave your trunk open a lot is that your interior lights are gonna stay on. And when your interior lights stay on, your battery is gonna die faster, which brings me to tip number two. Make sure that you're being mindful of your battery consumption from your car's battery. You can actually click this locking mechanism up um, I usually just use like a screwdriver or something to engage it and to click it up. And once it's up, it's actually gonna tell your car that the door is closed and it's gonna turn your interior lights off. What this does, it allows me to spend as much time as I want back here, getting ready, getting my gear out, making food, doing whatever I need to do in the trunk without having to worry about a dead battery when I get back to my car. Okay, so how do you open that back up? Well, for me on the Subaru, there's this little access panel right here. I pop that open and there's a manual switch in there. So when I'm ready to go, I go ahead and just pop that open and uh, toggle the manual switch and then engages it again. A lot of ski resorts are now offering overnight parking because they know that car camping is a really fun and great way to get early access to the mountain. Uh, so you wanna check your local ski resort website if you plan on camping there. But who wouldn't wanna camp out here? Look how awesome this is. This is so pretty. You gotta wake up to that view, are you kidding me? doesn't get much better than that. Love me some winter camping. For tip three, you never wanna bring that cold, wet gear into your car, especially while you're sleeping. It's just not an ideal situation with humidity and condensation. Um, so there's a couple things that you can do. One, you can get a little Thule rack like I have there. Uh, there's a bunch of different brands that make them. Uh, I like to keep my, my wet gear in that rack so that I don't have to worry about bringing it in my car. I also have a shoe storage bag. Um, this one is one that we make here at Luno, and this allows me to put things like boots and gloves and things in here. And um, you can leave it in there all night, and then you know maybe a half hour before you get up and get going for the day, what I'll do is I'll start my car and I'll bring all the gear that I need to put on that may have been wet that I left outside, put them in your footwell, turn your car on and just let the heater run and uh, really get that stuff thawed out and dried out before you put it on for the day. Well, that pretty much wraps up this quick introduction to car camping in the winter. Hope you enjoyed it. It's starting to snow. I'm gonna pull out my board, I'm gonna take a run and then I'm gonna make some food and then I'm gonna hunker down in this beautiful little spot that I have here. Uh, so feel free to check us out on social, uh, go to our website for some additional resources and hope to see you guys out there.